we're back, grinders. Day 13th, bankroll challenge. As you can see, I got the count back up. Yesterday, we got our ass kicked. Got all the way down to 50. I've got it back up to $79. I was playing the $3 uh, spin and goes. Uh, I told you I was going to do a Zoom session, and you got it. I'm going to the $5 Zoom right now. We've had only one Zoom session on this bankroll challenge at the $2. We, was, we ran bad, lost a good like four or five buy-ins. Uh, and let's see how we do now. I'm probably going to go to two tables. We'll just uh, play a couple of hands here. Ah, you know what? Let's just go to two tables right away. Add Zoom. One tabling is pretty boring. So let's, uh, let's go two tables here and see how we do. So I put caution when I see someone up this much money. You guys have maybe seen me do that before. Just lets me know they could be a good player. They could just be running hot. But that's what I tend to do. I don't like that there. I'm going to keep that over here. I'm going to call this 3-bet. He's got a big stack. He's in position. Standard 3-bet by him. This is a looser call. I definitely call a little looser than you're supposed to. I'm just confident playing people in position post-play. Um, but I think in general, if you were to, a coach would tell you to fold this here. But His sizing is pretty good there, though. That's for sure. Okay, it's interesting flop. Uh, I'm not going to pot control just based on... We have no diamond and anything comes is scary. Nice. Hmm. I'm going to raise this up here. Uh, 10 jack that I should have called. That was a little. Ooh, I'm going to call this here. If we hit an 8, we'll probably stack them. That's a little dangerous there. Could be overpair versus overpair. I'm going to check it. I don't see him folding too often when we bet there. Okay, we're going to call here. It's getting dangerous, though, for sure. I hope it goes check, check. That spade could slow him down. All right, we'll just check it. Yeah, queens. So good thing we slowed it down there. Oh, that's a horrible river on table two. It's still hold it, but it's hard to make money in that spot. Top that back up. That that one's a fold all day. That's a fold. We're going to three bet this guy. He's under under $5. King King suited there. Okay, that's a very strange play. We're going to fold, but I wish we could see that hand play out with someone. Hmm. Hmm. Four betting is going to be so so uh, rare at these uh, stakes here at the $5 that I'll bow. Okay, we got a three of a kind here. 
Well, he called really fast because he's on a draw here. So we're going to bet a little, maybe a little harder here. Because he called really fast. Okay, he folded. Okay, I still think I check on table two here. If we get there, we get there, but a lot of people in the pot. All right, so we should be good there. Okay, yeah, we're gonna call this too. Should have went probably a little higher. I'd recommend it on uh unless you got like aces and trying to induce here. Let's see if we can how do I watch this hand here? It's gonna rejam them or no? There he goes. Is it aces? Aces and queens, yep. Yeah. For him to check back an ace here is a little strange. We blocked the queens. Could have jacks, but for him to check that. Well, let's hope he doesn't have jacks here. Nice. Jack king. Okay, when I see someone this low on a buy-in, I usually call him a rookie. Uh, this kind of sucks because this guy could come over top of us. Hmm. I do like this multi-way pot, though. This is definitely a looser call here. I see this guy probably folding, though. It's a lot in the pot. If it goes check, check, we'll try to st uh, steal it on table two. All right, there goes that theory. Man, a lot of stacks are at 20 bucks. Okay, I'm still going to bet here. Queen kind of sucks. I think a seven would have raised us. Could have spades. Ah, wow. Ah, oh, check raising that spot, eh?
He raised under the gun here, so I will bow down. I'm going to call table one here, depending on his bat size. Okay. Checks it. He could check raise table one, and I'm probably going to. Just if fold equity, that's going to hit our our board a, a lot more. If he does call, we're building up the pot. Okay, now we're going to definitely lead out. All right, we'll check call. Eight nine gets there, ten gets there, but he shouldn't have too many eight nines. Could have ten jacks, something like that, but we take it down. I guess we check table two. King three, so at least he didn't bet. Yeah, so far, nothing crazy happening. Pretty standard. Three bet table one. Okay, I'm gonna three bet this or check raise on table two here. Mm. 
Nice. I have not set up to play cash. All my buttons are for spin and goes here. I haven't even gotten to top up my my buying, as you can see. I recommend you should always have your your button topped up. Build the pot on table one there. So pretty good board to see better and he's not gonna have it so that's not a scare card but he could be floating jacks hmm. i'm gonna get crazy here nice that was ballsy worked out for us that play's not gonna work every time but felt right We'll float here. Oh, nice. Get the jack. It's just so low stack. I don't have much respect for him, so. Man, it doesn't take long to put a lot of hands in. We've already played 130 hands at the casino and you get 20 to 25 hands an hour. So we've been, what are, how long have we been playing for? Uh, 18 minutes. So, and we're only playing two tables. We can play a lot more than that. I'm going to float. And I think I'm going to, wow. I want to raise somebody bet so hard there. Hmm. Feels like an over pair, tens or something. Okay, I'm going to take this as a bluff here on table one. We missed it, but that's a pretty scary card for him. Doesn't have a two or four or a heart, hard to call. Nice call, calls us a three. So I actually think it's a pretty loose call. I'm gonna label him this to shows me otherwise. Crazy player, that's what I just call. Crazy just means uh, loose, loose aggressive to me, uh, knowing what lines they take.
could three bet there. I'm not going to. There we go. Standard three bet on table two. He's under the gun here. If you four bets us, I don't mind laying it down. Depending on his, uh, the size of it, but. Jack's a pretty bad card because Ace King would probably four bet. Uh, and I still represent a big hang so we three bet him, but. Jack, a lot of his cards, the ace jack gets there, the king jacks get there, 10 jack suited gets there. It's a pretty, pretty bad uh, card there if we have the queen. I'm going to call table one here. Good position on him, sneaky hand. Pocket 10s, nice hand. He checks that. I think I'm still going to bet on table one here. Nice. Oh, I meant to call table one there. Okay, we're going to raise them on table one here. Does that make sense for him to lead out there? Nice. Okay, our first real hand pre-flop. Oh, we had Ace King, but hope we get some action. All right, there's a raise. I am going to re-raise them. To me, it's so, so. It looks like you're so strong, but I think we gotta. We're getting it in, kings versus aces. We're both de stacked. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet it. Could have ace king. All right, I guess I'm gonna check this. Huh. Well, what could we get at? Maybe queens can call us? Nice. Big pot for us. Four of a kind. Giddy up. Let's see if he had queens. Queens or jacks? Jacks. Nice. So the, the, the second king helped us a lot. Hard for us to have ace king in that spot. Obviously harder, harder to have pocket kings. So he's afraid there of probably aces. And uh, some ace kings is probably what he's worried about. And some queens, but the queens would probably slow down. 
and then he just maybe hoping we missed the flush draw. All right, let's do a little better in uh, the calling table. It's a good card for us. Ten queen, chop it up. All right. Okay, so I've labeled this guy Aggression. I played 327 hands with him. So I don't know where I played him. But we have some history. All right, so a 10 gets there in table one. Nice. Big pot on table one there. Didn't want to raise him. He's gonna have aces, two pairs a lot of times there. Jack King got there. So I didn't I didn't mind just uh calling in that spot here. What do you have? Like ace nine, ace seven, yeah. Ooh, top set here. Do we go for the check raise? I don't have too many hands with them. Could have an overpair, obviously the heart draw. I just if I just call though, it's gonna go check call so often. I mean sorry, check check on the turn. I don't want to give him any free cards here. So maybe he's got an overpair and we can get it in. Hard for tens, jacks, queens, all that stuff to fold here, so no problem. You just my thing is with that is if I just check it and a heart comes I'm in a bad spot if, if a brick comes and it goes check check and he gets to turn in river for free I'd rather raise it and over pairs just tend on these low stakes man they just tend to shove you in those spots so loose call but I am going to call on table two we block ace king. Obviously, he has some aces in his range. I might go for a check raise here and mix it up. Table two here. Just because they're three betting, they're not always going to have pocket pairs. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a aggressive line here. Nice worked out for us. As you can tell, I'm definitely trying to check raise a lot more. People see bet way too much. It's always going to go check bet, check bet, or check bet fold, check bet fold. Most of you are both going to miss the flops. He's betting because of position there. Obviously, the times it doesn't work, you look like an idiot, but I do think people should be check raising a lot more in cash games and in tournaments. And uh, even my spinner goes, I want to be check raising a lot more than I have been. All right, that's a good card on table two. Seven, eight gets there. It's 
So this is one of the ones I don't want to raise. I'm going to keep his bluffs in here. Okay, obviously aces get there would suck. So he's betting pretty hard here, but I think I'm just going to jam him here. Chinese Ace is a scare card, but... I think we're good on table one. Ooh, A6. Slow down. Nice. Wow, we're making this guy fucking tank on table two here. Make a hero call, bud. Did we miss our flush draw? Does it look like it? Oh, if he's slow rolling, it's going to hurt so bad. If he has 7 8, <laughs> it will definitely hurt. But I can't imagine he's slow rolling. Calls with ace queen. Ace 9, he folded down. We were greedy to go all in, but we definitely made him think about it. Just like that, we're down. Oh, we finished 200 hands. Uh, where's the clock? 30 minutes, 32 minutes. See this spot here? I'm going to see bet. He should be three betting me so often in that spot. Sorry, uh, check raising me. And people just don't check raise enough. I'm going to raise him here. Represent a pair, but yeah, his little lead out didn't make sense. A two wouldn't lead out there. He's trying to slow you down. We're definitely going to call on table two here. It's a very good card for us. We shouldn't have too many nines. We lose to over pairs. He's got a lot of diamond draws could be there. Oh, that ace is obviously horrible. Doesn't mean we have to fold to him, though, just because an ace. Definitely doesn't. Let's see what he bets here, but he's definitely going to probably represent it. it. does suck that it came. We're going to call here. And he hit it. Uh, but if you had a king queen, king jack, ten queen, all those kind of hands, they're gonna be betting that ace all the time, especially with the missed diamond. So I wasn't gonna just bow to him. The higher stakes, you definitely want to think of like that. They're gonna use the scare cards. Uh, lower stakes, I'm assuming you know poker's obviously got better. A lot of people will still be doing that. Okay, I'm gonna go for a squeeze here. He's doing a 4x, he just flatted. I'm gonna try to steal it. Okay, now I'll try to slow it down though. Don't want him just to call us in this spot. If he calls us, we'll probably beat. Rather give him spots to lead out or look like we're we took a stab at it. So now now we'll just uh I guess now I'll put them all in. Nice. Let's hold. Let's hold. Huge pot table two, baby. So we put that guy in an awkward spot. That's what you want to definitely do with these stakes. We're going to lay him with a donkey, though. He should not have called pre that much. I was going for more of a squeeze because he flatted. 
uh, check, you know, for him to bet that hard, why would a king bet that hard or something stronger? Didn't make sense for him to bet pot. If he's trying to fill me out, he definitely could have done a half pot or even a, a quarter pot. It would have got, uh, then it could have been check, check on the turn and river. He could have saved himself a lot of money there by doing that. Yeah, I'm going to bet. And I could probably do the same play. Ooh, so we have a four. That could be good enough. I'm going to slow down now. I'll just check it. Ace two. Nice. As you can tell, I go 4x in the small blind versus the big blind. I My standard, it's uh, just what I prefer to do. I'm going to call them position. We're really deep stacked now. Definitely want to play people in position. That's a good, good, good start. Uh, I'm not going to check it with two people in here. I'm actually going to bet a little harder, like we're trying to steal it. There's just too many that are combo draws are for free. He's early position. He, a lot of his king queens and all that's going to call you. So you could check here, but I still don't want him to get a free card. Okay, now you question of how much you want to try to steal his stack. I think I'm just going to go all in like we, we missed a draw here. Okay, now I'm not going to raise, though, but I think we're good still. I think we're good. King Jack, okay, he had us the whole time. Good thing he let out there. I was actually going to jam like we missed something. So he saved us money by uh, by leading out. All right, I'm going to check table one. I just raised him pretty big. Ah, you know what? We raised him. It's just is going to hit a lot of his ranges there, but good. like I said, I can check the turn, slow it down then. Yeah, guys, the one thing I always recommend whenever you're playing... Don't just stick to one style. Try different lines. See what works for you. Uh, you know, some people just play like a 100, 200 sessions and they're playing the exact same way. Mess around with your bet sizing. You know, don't be afraid just to get in there. Try different stuff. Everyone uh, just plays the same for so long and they never know why they don't move up in stakes. Or, uh, I don't know. I, I just think you have to get definitely more creative. Try to open up your game. Okay, him just leading out there, 5-6. We're both really deep stacked, but I'm going to raise him here. If he re-raises us, we'll just lay it down here. Pocket queens, both tables. Yeah, so table two, I just, you know, if he raises us, yeah, we just would raise lower there. So we got him to call us. But if one of those spots, you know, there's two straights there, obviously sets, two pairs. Uh, but I don't think two pairs would ever raise us in that spot. 2-4, he calls us a 2-4. My fucking hero. All right. Does the ace lead out there? Probably not. So it's probably a jack. Two aces there. I'm going to go to Value Town and see if we can get a jack to call us. Same thing. If he raises us, this is that same spot. I have no problem folding on table one if he raises us. Kings. All right. Well, that could have been dangerous pre-flop, so I guess we saved money there. 
So this is the guy that we just saw, but I'm going to lay it down. Guys, what's the roll at? How do we go to uh, use stats? Let's go to, uh, so I was crushing. Uh, this is what our we did in spin and goes earlier today. As you can see, I built the account back up. But let's go to, uh, you know, I guess I'll flat there. Let's find out how our session's going around for cash. So I am going to bet this. Some of his aces are going to call. Hmm, you know what? We're just going to keep betting it. All right, so we're hoping he's got like ace five would be really good. Okay, what are we doing here for our session so far? Today, oh, we're at $2. I guess that's why. So we go to all stakes here. Okay, so we're guys, we are up over a full buy in here, up to eight bucks. So a much better session than our first time at the $2 Zoom. And from yesterday's session, we couldn't win anything. So that's very strange. What is he doing that with? Could have, you know, queen. It's just such a fucking huge overbet. 10 jack, hearts get there. Man, I got to fold that. It's just crazy. I would call like a 150, but. Yeah, we're going to put this guy all in here. We need an ace on table two. Can we get there? Spade, spade. Ace. We do not get there. He was under a dollar there, or right at a dollar. We decided to gamble it up with him. Okay, we're going to three bet over here. We block a lot of the aces that are going to be raising there. Uh, and I'm going to try a raise here. Table two. He's under the gun here. He shouldn't have too much of that. All right. So we're, we're going to bet hard here. We're going to see if we can get him off something. Table one. Hard to call now. The four threes are there. All about putting pressure on, baby. Wow, and he calls with an ace. Fucking crazy. We got a chest for that play, but we put our pressure on him. I'm going to do this. Crazy. Nice call, but I just don't think enough people at these stakes are taking those lines for bluffing. That, that should be working a lot higher percentage on these lower stakes than... I know people say you can't bluff the micros, but for lines like that, like really hard to call in that spot. I'd I'd be folding the ace in that spot, I think. Unless I have a lot of info on someone. Like if I was at NL fifty or something, then I know they're gonna represent stuff a little different. I'm gonna fold that there. Wow, this one's a little tricky. I like this hand multi pot. I wish we were a deeper stack. Man, I wanna call that so bad. Like a lot of their combos are gonna block each other. Guys, I'm gonna gamble. We're gambling it. Oh, why does it have to be an ace? Check, check, one time. Club. Check, check, one time. Queens and kings checking it. Nope. We're floating. That's pretty scary. All right. I was going to see if we can get like ace king or something to call us. Nope. We were profitable. That definitely bluff hurt us. Now we're still up uh, almost a buy in three three forty five. We're up to seven hundred coins or so in our uh, in our uh, coins from all these chests. 
When we get to 1,000, we get ourselves $10 cash. It will help the bankroll. And keep this guy in it up there. Okay, that 10 can slow us all down. Uh, I'm going to try to... St I have some fold equity now. Obviously, open end two over cards. See if we can... F uh, Okay, let's see if a brick comes. Okay, I'm going to check it now. Huh. Will jacks call us? I don't think a 10 does that. Let's see if we can get a jack to call us. If he, fold, if he raises us, we'll fold. Ah, oh, too bad. Ooh. Let's check raise here on table two here. But I'm going to do a... Oh, I was going to do a big check raise. Hmm. Him betting 30 to two of us here. Guys, I'm that guy. I'm just raising today. Let's do that play right there. Nice. Getting it back from aggression. Didn't work that one line, but that was against one guy who did a crazy good hero call. Let me know in the chat, man, if you guys would have called his, his uh, ace there. Like, I thought we did a pretty good job by representing a full house there. So I know I got a player behind me on table too, but if this guy C bets, I'm gonna I bet a little harder. I was gonna raise him. That's a good card for us now. Five. I'm gonna probably raise him. Yeah, let's, let's uh, protect our hand a little here. One coin. One coin. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Ten cents. What else do we got? 10 cents. Oh, these chests can be so bad. How do you give us one coin? The struggle is real. I've got pocket jacks, though. Uh, I'm going to still bet it. Too many draws there. If you raise a sir, it's yours. All right, now we check it. 7 5. We beat the flush draw. What are we at now? Are we back up to where we were? There we go. We're over a buy-in. Definitely you take some different lines, but uh, I recommend you guys do it too. Don't be afraid to mix it up. That's the whole point of uh, having a bankroll, have money behind you. Take different lines, try different things for sure. Shouldn't have too many tens in his range. All right, guys, I'm going to keep barreling this here. That, that, uh, that eight's a really good card for us. Keep a buff alive. He might come over top of us here. We might have put ourselves so pot committed though. Then I got a nine, obviously a seven, a four. Nice. I kind of had a feeling he was going to raise us there, but that eight was just too good of a card to keep us going. That's when I almost like to be deeper stack, like 200 big blinds. Then you're not afraid of those spots. I was like borderline like committed there. If he raises, we're going to be behind every time. But uh, with the pot odds there, I think you got to got a call. Oh, 
Well, guys, I'm getting pretty tired. It's 11.30 at night for me. Um, we just did 300 hands, as I said that. And uh, we have a winning session here for day 13. And way better day than yesterday. So I won some money off spin and goes before you guys uh, saw. And now I've done a small Zoom session, our first uh, winning Zoom session of the of the bankroll challenge. Obviously, it's only our second one. So we'll definitely come back to this. But uh, I do want to stick mostly to spin and goes. Um, it's just our bread and butter. It's what um, not a lot of people are making videos on. Um, you guys have tons of options to watch people play Zoom. But I do enjoy mixing it up. I think we can, st can we steal this on table, uh, table two here? I don't know what we're representing, but for them to check all that, didn't really make sense, does it? Nice. This is what I hate to get off when you're at good stacks. I find on low stakes, once you get a stack behind you, you can really start building it. Sometimes it takes a while to get to it. Once you do, they, they fear, like when they're at two or three dollars, like they really fear these big stacks. And you can sit there and just uh, and, and make it grow. Okay, so we're going to close this one back here. Play our last couple of hands and call it a session. It's a good card. If it goes check, check, I'm going to bet that king. Okay. We'll call this, but this I think this might be our last hand. All right, that's a good last hand if it is. Uh, I think we bet. Start building it up. Well, that's too bad. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of day 13. We're up to $88. So our first Zoom session there on NL5, um, we made $8.27 and 314 hands. Hope you like day 13. We're creeping to $100. Uh, soon we'll have, you know, more, more uh, money in our account to start doing big things. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 